Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a um, special type of activity that I really like that's called Cube Conversations. Cube Conversations um, is as it sounds. We are going to be looking at cubes and having some conversations about um, how many cubes that we see and how we see these different orientations of cubes. Again, this comes from this site, Steve Wyborny. So if you've listened to any of my other videos that I've made, um, you will know that I've referenced this site a lot. Um, I've done some splat videos, and now we're going to do some on cube conversations. All right, so let's begin. <clears throat> How many cubes do you see? How many make up this structure? <coughs> Is there another way you can think about how many cubes make up this structure? Again, is there another way you can figure out how many cubes? There's lots of different ways to see what makes up this structure. All right, so let's talk about how you saw this. So I'm going to show you a few different ways of how this could be seen. And you might have seen it completely differently. So one way you could have seen it is maybe you saw this kind of three by three array in the middle, this yellow array. And so you could have said, OK, I see. And it's three. Oh, I'm having some trouble. I'm going to go back. Three. So you could have said three. Ooh, those are not the best threes. Plus three. Plus three. Using that idea of repeated addition. And then that's nine. And then maybe you saw that these other four that are here. So you could have seen one, two, three, four. So then we have this, the nine that we had plus these other four. And how many does that equal all together? I like to think of this as nine plus one plus three because I like to make 10 pairs. So 10 pairs make this easier for me. So this is 10 plus three. So I know that that will be 13. So that's one way of looking at this. Another way you could have looked at this is you could have seen this cross type, this plus sign in your picture and seen that this is one, two, three, four, five. So this right here is five. And the tricky part for this is you could have seen it as five plus five, but then have to say, but wait a minute, this middle one I already included. So then it's five plus five, maybe minus one. Or you could have thought of it maybe as a five plus a four. Okay, and then we have these four other ones that we didn't count yet. So now the four is here. One, two, three, four. So we have five plus four plus four. And this one has 
the double fact. And I love double facts because I know my double facts. So I know that this right here is eight. And then I still have my plus five over here. And as I said before, I am a really big fan of 10 facts. So I'm going to do my 10 facts over here and I'm gonna break up my five into a three and a two. And then I'm gonna add my eight because I have eight plus two is 10 and then 10 plus three is 13. And then there's another way, there's lots of ways, but here's another way you can see this. And you could have seen it with these designs here, which I know with all of my pen marks, it's starting to get a little confusing to see. Let's see if I use black. So this is right here, a group of three, of um, four, excuse me, and a group of four. And then that middle group of five, which is the same as right here, as far as the equation is concerned, a four plus four plus five, which shows my 13. There could have been a whole bunch of other ways that you saw this. So there's no one way to see it. There's no right way. Um, or you could have just simply counted them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, we're gonna do a whole nother one. Here we go. The reveal, 13 cubes, just as we had figured out in a lot of different ways. All right, we're gonna do another one. Here we go. How many cubes are in this picture? All right, so let's describe this different ways we can see it. So instead of marking up the same one, I have these blanks down here and I'm gonna use these as ways to demonstrate. So if you see, I'm gonna do this one. So one way you could have thought of it is you could see this group of three here. It's kind of part of like what looks like a Y and another three here. And then you could have seen maybe this group of four down here. So then the equation for this one could have looked something like three plus three plus Four. And that equals a certain number. And I'm going to wait for this reveal of the total. I'm just going to talk about how we see it for a moment. Let's see. Maybe we could have done it a different way. Maybe what I could have, what I saw could have been something like me one second as I'm and going to see if I can oh no that didn't work let me go back <laughs> here we go okay I'm just gonna stick there okay so we're gonna be able to be able to possibly see Something like here, which is a group of four. And then these groups of two. Here's a group of two. Who is a group of two? Whoops. And here is a group of two. So. I had a group of four here, 
And then I added three groups of two. So two plus two plus two. And I can do my counting of twos. That might be a neat way to be thinking about it. Let's do one more and talk about another way we saw this. So maybe you kind of saw this shape and maybe you kind of saw these L's. This is an L kind of shape. It's a backwards L here. Whoops. And this is an L here. And these L's seem to have four in them. So these are two fours right here. And then there's that group of two on the bottom. Right down there. All right. So we have a few different ways to see this. I am going to leave it at these three different ways and let's talk about the reveal. So what is the total number here? 10, one of my favorite numbers. And let's see, did we in fact get 10? So three plus three is six plus four. That's a 10 fact. So that does give us 10. So there's our 10. And then here, if I count by my twos, two, four, six, there's that six plus four again. And that did give me 10. It's getting a little messy down here. And then four plus four, that's a double fact. So this is eight. And eight and two is another one of my 10 pairs. So that gave us 10. Loving those 10 pairs. All right. Let's do one more together. Let's do our final one together. This one. Ooh. This is one of my favorites because it's shaped like the letter S. And my name is is Miss S, so I'm a fan of this. All right, let's think about how many cubes. And we're gonna describe some ways that we can see the total here. So one way that we can see the total here is seen maybe that these three horizontal lines of my S right here have groups of four. So I have three groups of four in here. So it's really, I'm going to put this, this one up here. I know it's kind of out of the way, but so I have three groups of four. Whoops. It's not the best plus sign, is it? Plus four. Plus four. And then I notice that there are two more here and here that I didn't circle, so then I have this plus two. Okay, so that's one way you can see this. There's so many ways. All right, let's look at the next one. Maybe you like to see these vertical pieces here. And I'm kind of noticing Though if I find these, I find some other groups of three in here. So I'm going to actually circle here because I like to do repeated addition. I like to find the same number if I can. So that means in this case, I have one, 
two, three. I have four groups of the number three. So I have three plus another three plus another three plus one more three. All right. And then I'm going to see what I've got left. And what I have left is these two right here. So I have another two left over that I didn't count yet. So there it is here. Okay, and then let's see. Another way you can look at this is to think about maybe these kind of, I like to make letters too. So I see right here, there's this letter C. And this has nine pieces because it's four and four and one. So I saw nine, it's kind of a big one, in this one. And then I kind of see this here at the bottom. So this right here at the bottom, which is four, so I have a nine with a four, four, eight, nine, okay, and four, okay. And then I see that there is this one other one I haven't circled yet, right here. So I have a nine plus four plus one. All right. Let's see, what's the reveal gonna be? It says 14 cubes. So I'm gonna go back here because it's hard, easier to see. And that if I start to do my addition, this, if I do four plus four plus four, I get 12. Four plus four is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I have 12 plus two, which is 14. In this case, I'm doing, here I had three groups of four, hmm. And here I have four groups of three. So three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna have that same 12, hmm, right here. And if there's that relationship of one, two, three groups of four, or one, two, three, four groups of three, hmm, interesting. 12 plus two, same as before. There's that 14. And in this last one, it has one of my favorite things in it. Oops, sorry. It has a 10 pair, nine and one. So remember with addition, I could do any order. So I'm gonna find my 10 pair first because I like to find 10 pairs. Nine plus one is 10. 10 plus four gives me 14. All right, so these are different ways and you have your own way of seeing these cubes. That's what I really like about these. You could figure out whatever way you want or so many different ways. Well, I hope you enjoyed cube conversations this week and hopefully we will get to do one of these again in the future. Take care.